welcome to my monthly meal prep video i'm going to be doing a video like this every single month so i'm going to be sharing snacks some meals my daughter is going to be doing two days at her standalone kinder so that requires a lot of snacks so i'm going to save money and save time and once a month i'm going to do a bulk cook up so first off we were having some friends over for a barbecue so i'm making some cheesecakes and then i'm going to put them in the freezer the ones that we've got left over so these are blueberry cheesecakes so they're simple to make and I've shared the recipe before all these recipes will be in the description box so you can go and get them and create them yourselves <music> The kids love helping out in the kitchen so you'll see a bit of them within these videos because I'm going to try and do them around our daily tasks, these big cook up videos. The other thing you'll notice about these videos is I'm going to try and use as much the equipment as I can. So the food processor here, I've got the mix master just to try and do things quicker and more effectively. This recipe is a 10 out of 10 every time. The kids love it. I've done it with raspberries as well or blueberries like we're doing here. We were going to eat some the next day for a barbecue and then the rest I was going to freeze. utensil I love to scoop in the mixture as well as when I'm making muffins is this ice cream scoop it cost me like $25 but honestly it was worth every cent I love it and I find it makes baking so much quicker and we also get a more uniform size instead of all different sizes The next meal I'm going to be making is some beef sausage rolls and I'm going to eat some for lunch today and then the rest we're going to put in the freezer. So I don't normally put onion in it so I've decided to put onion in this time just to add a vegetable to it. Other options are grated carrot. My hubby does that when he makes sausage rolls but this recipe doesn't normally have onion. It just has garlic and meat and all the spices. adding in some fennel seeds and Worcestershire sauce as well as some tomato sauce. The best way I found to mix this is just to put some gloves on your hands and then mix them around. I didn't have any gloves in the kitchen but then I remembered I had a packet in the car that I use when I'm getting petrol. So I went out there, grabbed some gloves and so I was able to mix it all together and it just really helped to combine it all together and then when you're putting it on the puff pastry it's easier to make it more uniform. This recipe requires breadcrumbs. I'm going to be using panko breadcrumbs because I just love the flavor. Because I'd added the onions to the sausage rolls, I just turned down the temperature in the oven like it's normally about 220 and I just turned it down to 180 just so it would cook a little bit slower and just increase the cooking time. And the onion came out cooked, which was what I was hoping for. I didn't want crunchy onion. <laughs> kept the sausage rolls quite big today but often I do half the size and then I'm sprinkling with sesame seeds on top. Fennel seeds gives it a nice flavour as well but I think I've got enough actually in the meat mixture. On to the next dish which is zucchini slice but first off I want to show you this hack so as you can see there the baking paper doesn't sit right in that square tray so grab it out scrunch it all together and then lay it down and it works so well if you haven't seen that hack then give it a go in your kitchen 
If you've watched my videos before, then you'll know that I tend to actually put the zucchini into the pool chopper, but that's not as time efficient. So I'm using the food processor today and I even tried adding in the bacon, but to be honest, it made the bacon really small. It was still nice, but it was just a bit more mushed up together. Have you ever frozen zucchini slice? So I was planning to have this for lunches, but I thought I could freeze it, cut it into squares and then put it in the toasty machine so that it's got a nice crisp edge to it before we eat it for lunch. I ended up not freezing it this time, but have you frozen zucchini slice? I also grated the cheese in the food processor as well. I normally do this dish with vegetable oil, but today I'm going to be using coconut oil and the taste was great. I'd do that again. The next dish I'm going to be doing is muffins. When I used to do snack videos and share the snacks I was making for the kids, I would often try and do a muffin each time. And so I'm going to be doing carrot muffins today. I'm going to be doubling the batch because it's all going to go in the freezer, apart from what we have for afternoon tea. According to the recipe, it can last in the freezer for three months. Next, I'm going to spray the muffin tins with avocado oil. Both kids really like cracking the eggs and when they first started doing it we got a fair bit of shell in but it's amazing how quickly they learn and now they can do it without getting shell in the egg. nice little flavor to these carrot muffins is the cinnamon. We put a bit of extra cinnamon in this time and so it's got a really lovely taste. And like I said, the ice cream scoop is just amazing for quickly getting muffins into the tray. That was a very busy morning for us and that's what we achieved. And then for dinner that night, we were gonna have tacos. So I bought one kilo's worth of mince and then I did the whole lot as a taco mince and I'm freezing three of them. It's the perfect time to have tacos because you've got sour cream from the cheesecakes. So just heating up a pan and then adding in the onion and then the mince. I like to add in some corn kernels as well. And today I'm gonna be adding in black beans. It just makes it go longer and we feel fuller. Once the meat's cooled, I'm putting it into some Ziploc bags and I like to freeze them by pushing them flat so that they defrost quicker. So here you'll notice that they're not actually flat. I hadn't squashed them yet, but I squash them so they fill up the whole bag and that they're quite thin and then I'm going to put them in the freezer. It just works so well. So I hope this video is helpful and will help you get organized too. If you like these videos, please subscribe because I'm going to do the same type of video next month. Thanks for watching. Bye. Be who you are.